Welcome back to Heroes on Our Island. I'm Mike Stevens coming to you this week from Elmond, which is home to Belmont Park Racetrack. Let's go to Hempstead Village now, the largest village in New York State. And there's a man there who's trying to make life better for the people who work and live there. Pastor Curtis Riley of Believing God's Word Church says he could not live with himself while seeing the way the once highly thought of and beautiful Hempstead Village had deteriorated over the years. So he decided to do something about it. I've been in Hempstead since I was 14. So I, I, I saw what it used to be. Then I saw what it became and I felt very guilty saying, man, how can you be in a community and let it go like this? Pastor Riley had worked for many years in human services, but eventually set that work aside, devoting his full attention to ministry. But then he got a revelation on how to make a difference outside the church walls after a trip to Chicago where some associates were doing work to revitalize neighborhoods there. He thought maybe it would work in Hempstead. And I saw the CDC, I saw the malls, I saw the banks, I saw all the things they were doing to rebuild their community in Chicago. I got an enlightenment what to do and my heart just got so overwhelmed. Pastor Raleigh developed what is now called the Hempstead Rebirth Community Development Corporation. Certified and trained by the federal and state governments, it works to help low and moderate income families in a variety of ways. As a nonprofit agency, its mission is what its name implies, to revitalize Hempstead. So I went out and saw all the legislators, the mayor, the commissioner, and I looked at what kind of services that was, that was here, what kind of services was being funded, and I didn't want to duplicate services. I'd rather collaborate than duplicate, you know? But I wanted the people inside to say, let's get an image that Hempstead is a good place to do business again. The first thing Pastor Riley did was a beautification project, which cleaned up trash and improved Hempstead's appearance for people who walk, live, work, and do business here, and improve the facades of storefront businesses. Then he developed a neighborhood stabilization program to purchase abandoned homes, fix them up, and resell them to first-time homeowners. Along the way, he helped to bring in a supermarket to one neighborhood that had not had one in many years. Pastor Raleigh and Hempstead Rebirth CDC also decided to create a business mentoring program to help new, small, or struggling businesses get direction and guidance from experienced business professionals. I'm fulfilled, my passion. That's what I'm, I believe, that's what God placed in me to do. You know, um, um, I, that's what I'm getting out of it. Knowing that there's gonna be a legacy, knowing that our youth, and you know, I worked with youth for so many years, and, and we look at, you know, and we have a youth initiative that we do, and I wanna leave something to them. Nowadays, everybody wants to be this or that. It's just, you know, a, you know, a rapper or whatever, and I'm like, look, okay, is that music your thing, but everybody ain't called to do that. Some people are called to do other things, so let, let us help you. Let's put some people visibly in front of you and say, this is what we're doing. See what it wakes up in the crowd. If it wakes that up, like, man, I wanted to be, I wanted to work in the government. I want to work in a business. I want to work in arts and entertainment. I want to work in the media. I want to work, you know, I want to work in something that, 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 that empowers family values. I'm not the whole answer <laughs> to this whole thing, but I want to be part of the solution. You know what I'm saying? And see people find their passions, help them get in it um, in these difficult times, and, and maybe they can that can rub off on them to say, let me help somebody. I want to serve. I want to show people that they worth it, no matter how far they go down, no matter how many times they miss it at something, that God has a plan for them. He has a purpose for them. We were all created to achieve. Well, Pastor Riley says what he's doing now is just the tip of the iceberg. He hopes to accomplish a lot more for people in the community in the future.